Welcome to Siam Fights TV, your leading source for Muay Thai entertainment. Today we're going back to September 2nd, 2016, when Aaron Kowal from Scotland faced Hayley Monroe from the U.S. in a technical battle between two future Muay Thai superstars. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the next attraction of the evening. Five two-minute rounds for the Siam Fight 105-pound championship of the world. In the ring, the man that laid the law in the bell sounds, referee Jim Panover. In the first, first, Heidi got of the blue corner. She went officially at 103 pounds even. Her record, six victories, no defeats, Representing Evolution Jim and fighting out of Vallejo, California, presenting Kaylee Monroe. <laughs> and her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She weighed officially at 103 and one half pounds. Her record: 17 victories, three defeats. Representing Grip House Jim and fighting out of Glass House Scotland, presenting. Eric Kowal! Eric Kowal, right, presenting Glasgow, Scotland's world famous grip house, came in at his about 103.6 pounds. Ms. Monroe, her opponent, came in at 103 pounds even. And one thing about all combat sports, Bryce, that is most exciting and most telling is that the styles that they have. And having a chance to speak to both of them, Ms. Monroe said she uses push kicks and clinch work and combos as her biggest strength. I asked though, uh, you know, I asked Koal what hers is, and she said she uses height to her advantage. So you're going to see height versus clinch. That's going to be the biggest storyline here. Will Koal be able to use that height to her advantage, or will Monroe use her world-class clinch game to to cut off a few inches in, in height? And that's actually an advantage being a shorter person when it comes to the clinch game. It's a lot easier for you to land with low. The taller person kind of has a little harder time than landing more damaging shots. They can still, of course, land. I gotta tell you, up until this point, when she turned her head, when uh, Kowal turned her head to look at her coach, her and Monroe did not take their eyes off one another. They were locked eye to eye. You know it's gonna be a dog fight. Absolutely. Both going for it. Certainly more than bragging rights on the line here tonight, as this one again, five two minute rounds, it will be for the Siam Fight Productions world title. World title. World. These two young ladies. So for Monroe, she's trying to take belt number three home to Vallejo, California. For Kowal, it would be belt number seven, along with the world, the, the gold medal she won. So we're talking two highly accomplished females that are, are fighting for the biggest gold of them all. Siam's won it. Oh, and they, they come right out the gates. They're not not playing right by the minute. The no filling out process here. Do we'll, not blink, folks. Do we're not. We're going to feel each other out with knees. Look at these knees being fired back and forth by both of them. No, oh, that looks like a knees and a near dump. Both of them seem to have the same plan in mind, Bryce. Both going for the knee and a nice push kick deep by the Pink Princess. Non stop action in this year, first round. Both of these young ladies realize that the, what is on the line here tonight, and they are coming out and bringing A, B, and C game, no room for D. Miss Monroe wearing the blue trunks for those tuning in at home, the red trunks being worn by the pink princess, Ms. Kowal. Both ladies mixing up the strikes here, going high, going low. Nice jab, uppercut there by, oh, and a flying, look at she went for a flying elbow, Bryce. Oh, flying Hanuman there. Both ladies very well versed in their technique. And I, I can somewhat tell from my vantage point here, Bryce, whereas uh, Erin Kowal mentioned she's used to having the height advantage. It looks like she's given up a few inches to Monroe in this one. Nice kicks by Kowal. 
And a knee. Back the clinch. clinch work here. Both ladies working really nice inside the clinch. Around the ropes they go. Both trying to gain the advantage. Nice knee by Monroe. Both ladies staying active in the clinch. Jim Vanover separates the two. And to close out the round, a good shot landed by Koala in an ultra competitive, very, very close round number one. That was one explosive first round there, folks. Got four more to go here for the Cyan Fight Productions 100 pound, 105 pound title. We thank you all for joining us here at Tempe Center for the Arch Game Pack Leader. Bryce McDaniel calling all the action here tonight. You just tuned in, you missed some great fights so far, but trust me, there are many, many more to go. What you're watching at this point is, again, for the Cyan Fight Productions 105 pound world title. And only the first title on the line for tonight. We'd like to thank one of our great sponsors tonight, OSS Physical Therapy. Think you need to get readjusted for that line and reconfigure, go to OSS. They were playing moves like Jagger. We're not seeing too many moves like Jagger, more like moves like Anderson Silva and JoJo Calderwood in there. And round number three starts out much along the same way. Again, the teeth landed by Monroe. Beautiful, nice inside elbow there. Seeing Monroe getting a little bit more comfort here. She's moving in, getting her shots, and moving out of the way just as quickly. 
but being very efficient and very, very selective with her shots. Definitely trying to keep her record unblemished. Two for the team there was blocked by Koa Holding Scott. Now Cole Both fighters with good work here in the clinch yet again. And the referee will actually let it go as long as there's uh, a lot of action going on. As soon as they seems like they're using it as a break or, or a way to get a breather, the referee will separate them and let them get right back to the action. Nice body kick. Landed by Aaron. Oh, and a huge teeth landed by Monroe, which really startled Koala a little bit. Now Monroe with the clinch and landing some highly effective knees. But Erin landed a few of her own, and now she's got Monroe pinned in the corner. And Erin Koala with some nice knees, but Monroe firing fire with fire. An attempted knee there. Nice knee by Monroe, but it was blocked. And a big jab by Kaylee Monroe. Good set of combos going on. And we saw a brief uh, letdown at hands. Looks like there may be a little bit of a cut over the low cheek area of Aaron Kowal. And I think Monroe says that she is firing off repeated shots, shot after shot, continue to fire away. And it was at the, the end, end of the round. The third round is very explosive. What a strong finish of round number three for Kaylee Monroe. Close fight, but I got to tell you, after seeing her close out that round price, it seems like she's fully in her groove and has the confidence going into the championship round. Absolutely, it looks like things. That knee, it hurts her, it hurts her. Round number four, we got to hear some comments from both of our cornermen. I, I do want to bring up one point here. We talked about advantaging travel. Now, granted, you know, California's round number four starts with Monroe coming out firing. It's 2.26 in the morning in Scotland as we speak. Whereas for, for you know, Kaylee, it's normal time. It's 6.26. So see if that plays a factor here in the final next couple rounds. Nice knees by Kaylee Monroe. an adjustment of the knee pads in it. Right, continues, nice kick by Aaron. And a teep attempted. And Monroe, Monroe now goes for the clinch. This is where she wants it to be. But Aaron no slouch to clean, clinch herself. Up against the ropes, Kaylee with the advantage. And another big knee. Nice elbow landed there. Continues to fire on all cylinders, and we're going to see a separation of the action. Jim Van over right on top of things. Teep by Kaylee. And a flying punch, Superman punch, as I like to call it. Marvel Comics, eat your heart out. DC, you can eat it out too. Nice body kick by Aaron. Big kick, and another team. Kaylee Monroe so efficient with that team in this fight, now lands a shin kick, and another team. Bryce, she's on over a dozen teams landed in this four round fight so far. Starting to land those right hands more on cue as the fight goes on here. Nice kick landed by Aaron. But you're seeing a little bit more energy. I mean, if you're looking at the energy pace here by both of these fighters, we head to round number five. Again, that, that time advantage, and I don't think that doesn't play a factor, ladies and gentlemen. And you're looking at 226, you're looking at jet lag. They're halfway across the globe, but it is, you know, Aaron Kowal. Whereas, what was it, what, a 45 minute flight of that from San Francisco area for, you know, the yeah, Rose? Yeah, just about to the, uh, to the airport here in Phoenix. So, I mean, uh, 
we're seeing that maybe start to play a little bit of a factor here. And, you know, that's the size advantage. I think one thing I've noticed so far as we go over to the corner, we'll tell you more in a moment, we're going to get the official word from both corners. round underway and Price right off the gates. Both come out firing. But Monroe again with that clinch. Some nice deeds being landed by the Pink Princess. Or the, the Pink Warrior, excuse me. But Monroe, the bigger of the two fighters. Nice knees. Going knee, fight, knee strike for knee strike here in the corner. And I think another benefit Kaylee Monroe has had in this fight is I, I think that Koala is used to fighting, you know, being the taller of the two. Whereas this time she's facing somebody that's a few she's inches taller. She's in danger in the corner. She's oh, definitely it, taking some punches here. She smells blood. Monroe oh, teeing off. Monroe teeing off in the corner. And a nice grab by Koala at the proper time. Monroe landed at least a dozen shots in that exchange. Definitely. An elbow to the top. Where Jim Vanover separates him. And another teeth landed by Monroe. Monroe with a big shot, going for the flying elbow to the skull, but misses. Kick to the shin. And a nice teeth by Aaron. Well-timed teeth. But Monroe has her in the right position. Tees off with a couple of shots. Monroe's in and out technique is definitely working for her very well. Now Monroe went for the spinning, spinning elbow there. It was blocked, but she's got her pinned against the ropes. Final seconds here of this first of multiple championship fights in the evening. Pink Warrior uh, back in Monroe into the corner here and landing her knees. And it's a good time because you're gonna, I think she's got to do something to score some points here, but Monroe quickly reverses course. And Chip Vanover separates him. Final seconds of this bout. Monroe with a nice kick to the leg and another team. She has just again been spot on with that team all evening long. Non-stop action this entire fight. Big kick by Monroe, and that ends the fight. Now. And the mutual respect shown at the end. That's that's the biggest thing with Muay Thai, man. It's all about the respect. Well, I, I said at the beginning of the fight, Bryce, they, they would not take their eyes off one another. They were locked eye to eye, ready to, ready to go out there like a couple of Rottweilers fighting over a last McDonald's cheeseburger that's a week old on the corner. And believe me, they went out there, and for five rounds, they brought it. The question is, though, who takes home the gold. Who takes home that 20 pounds of Siam superiority? Will it be Aaron Kowal taking that belt all the way back to Glasgow, Scotland and proving 18 and three, or will Kaylee Monroe keep her perfect record alive and be taking, up, taking it up to the Golden Gate area of San Francisco? We'll find out here in a moment as our referee, our ring announcer, Rambling Ralph, going to grab the official verdict as we speak. There you see one of our many executives here, one of the many superstars that made Siam Fight Productions happen, Brandon Jones, as he called him, Brandon Jehones yesterday. <laughs> got a kick out of that. He's got the 20 pounds of gold in his hand, ready to strap it around the waist of one of these superstars of Muay Thai and superstars of Siam Fight Productions. We got a close-up shot there, Bryce. We were on the big screen for about five seconds. I, I'm sitting here adjusting my five shirt. Five seconds of fame. Five seconds of fame. I'm sitting oh, here man. adjusting my shirt there a little bit. You know, spiffy myself up a little bit. If I'm gonna be on the big screen, well, we gotta look the best. She looked the parts. You know, I was probably looking at anything random like <laughs> I normally do there. But here we are with the decision. Here comes the verdict. Who gets the belt strapped around their yeah, waist? We'll definitely. find out in one second. Respect to both of these fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, after five championship rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the scorecards. Judge one, 49-46. Judge two, 48-47. Judge three, 50-45. All for your winner by unanimous decision. From Vallejo, California, and the striking sisters take another gold champion.
And Kaylee Monroe, ladies and gentlemen, your new Siam Fight Productions 105 pound world champion. I think it was a combination of teeth, the clinch, and then leg kicks that really won the fight for her. But an outstanding performance and a great championship fight. One that Cy Siam Fight Productions is accustomed to putting on. Glasgow, Scotland, Aaron Kowal.